Hello, I'm Dr. Nathan Barnes. I teach 8th grade Omnibus as well as Latin, Logic, and Government at Legacy Classical Christian School. Uh, you may not know me. This is my first year at Legacy. I've been teaching for a lot longer than that, uh, mostly on the college level. And I just wanted to let you know of an amazing opportunity for travel uh, for your kids. Uh, my wife and I have both been teaching for a long time. Uh, she has 15 years experience at Weatherford teaching uh, mostly most of the time teaching geography and uh, we are planning uh, to take a group of about 40 students from North Texas and uh, other parts of the United States to Italy and Greece for two weeks. Now I have a PhD in New Testament so I'm really excited about this um, and my specialty is Greek and Roman philosophy. I wrote a book called Reading 1st Corinthians with philosophically educated women and I'm thrilled to be taking students to where Socrates and Aristotle walked and St. Paul uh, and how much has shaped our culture and our religion. Uh, it's just tremendous. So we are working with a company called Education First. It's accredited. If your <laughs> kid goes, that's my dog, if your kid goes with us to Italy and Greece, it's not a vacation. It's actually an educational tour, so they can receive high school credit or college credit depending on which course they choose. And we will have a, a very uh, qualified tour guide with us 24-7, uh, and the company is going to be taking care of all of our travel arrangements, and it's just a phenomenal opportunity. So let me just tell you a little bit about myself real quick. Um, you know I have a PhD. Uh, it's in New Testament. I'm a historian. Uh, I earned it in 2012. I've published a book um, and I have a master's degree of course and a bachelor's degree all in religion. Uh, my wife Leslie has been teaching for 15 years as I said. She has a master's degree in education from University of North Texas and a bachelor's degree from Wayland Baptist in education. We went there together, but we were actually uh, dating before that. We were high school sweethearts. We've been together for 20 years, and we are celebrating our 15-year anniversary of marriage in November. And these are our children, Marshall and Lily Barnes. They were born in February of 2014, so they're going to be two years old in February. And we've already taken care of arrangements for them. They're going to be with their grandparents while we're off uh, with students in Italy and Rome. And at the parent meeting, we're going to be discussing uh, why travel is important, where we're going to go exactly, the travel partner, which is education first, the, their safety approach, what's included, what's not, and how to reserve a spot. Uh, we're going to, well, why travel? We're going to cover that at the parent meeting. Um, I just wanted to show you a few pictures um, of where we're going to be going. We're going to be visiting the Vatican which is right here. Uh, we're going to be visiting the Sistine Chapel. This is the throne of St. Peter. We're going to be walking right around it. Uh, we're going to visit the Colosseum. This is a Sistine Chapel. And all around is just wonderful artwork uh, by uh, Renaissance uh, sculptures and artists. Uh, we're going to be visiting Pompeii, which is a perfect example of a, a first century city. I mean, this is how we know what houses were like in the first century, where the earliest Christians worship, there were houses like the ones that are preserved at Pompeii. So whenever uh, myself as a scholar, whenever I try to understand uh, how early Christians worshipped, what they would have seen, what they what they would have eaten, uh, even um, the kind of artifacts that or utensils that would be in the house, we know because it was preserved in Pompeii and also Herculaneum. Herculaneum. Um, then this is the Parthenon. So we're going to be visiting uh, these these spots. And I just want to show you a map of the areas that we're going to be going. You know, we're flying into Rome, and then we're going to be visiting Capri, Sorrento, Pompeii. We're going to be going down to Pat Petros, which is an absolutely amazing city. And then Delphi, which is where the Delphic Oracle said that Socrates was the wisest of men. And then he said, he said, no, I know nothing. That's the beginning of wisdom. Athens, the birthplace of Greek philosophy and democracy. 
and then uh, Myconos, and then I don't even know how to say that, and then Patmos, which is where uh, St. John uh, was, you know, the, the John who wrote Revelation was uh, marooned or exiled. Now, you can actually go to the cave where St. John was uh, wrote the book of Revelation. Uh, I get chills just just uh, just thinking about it. I can read to the kids Revelation in Greek in the cave where it was written. And just think about that. It's amazing. And then we're going to be going to Crete and Senatori, back to Athens, and then back home. Now let me show you something. Just, just take in this map here. I want to show you. This is St. Paul's journeys. And this is Greece, and he went all around here, and Crete, Sicily, and Rome. We're going to be walking where Paul, St. Paul walked, and visiting the places where St. Paul wrote the earliest Christians. And uh, we even have a tour of the Roman catacombs. Uh, catacombs are basically where they bury people uh, underneath Rome. We'll be able to see where the earliest Roman Christians worshipped, and very likely where they first read the epistle to the Romans. So this is an amazing opportunity. Um, and if you can't make the parent meeting, um, I will be sending you, or you can contact me, and I will send you uh, whatever all the information that you can possibly hope for. <laughs> I just, this is just a very short video explaining uh, the trip. So I'm going to go over our our itinerary very briefly. Uh, you know, we're flying in Italy the very first day, or day two, we are going to see Rome. We're going to meet our tour director at the airport, and then day three in Rome, we're going to tour Vatican City. We're going to see the Sistine Chapel. I showed you a picture of that earlier, and St. Peter's Basilica. And then on day four, and I, I would hope that we'd be able to observe the Eucharist, but most of us are not Roman Catholic, so uh, we might not be able to do that, but it's going to be it's going to be awesome. Uh, like I said, touring the Roman catacombs, which is where they would have read the Epistle to the Romans. You know, the stu my students know that for the first three hundred years uh, until uh, Constantine, Christianity was illegal in Rome. It was a foreign religion, and Christians had to basically meet in the among the tombstones. This is where they buried people in the Roman catacombs. So we'll be able to see where the earliest Christians worshipped. A uh, guided tour of Rome on day four, we'll see the Roman Forum, the Colosseum, uh, the fountains in Rome, the, Pan the Pantheon, uh, the Piazza Navona, the Spanish Steps, and then uh, day five, Capri, day six, Pompeii, which is the exquisitely preserved first century city, uh, it was preserved because of a volcano erupting. That's Mount Vesuvius erupted, and uh, Pliny actually witnessed that. So, you know, one of the guys that we read in Latin class uh, witnessed uh, the uh, explosion and the city being engulfed in ash. Because of that, that horrible tragedy, we know so much about what life was like for the earliest Christians. And we're going to be visiting a lot of museums, and these museums are spectacular. Like, they're so good that whenever I do my research, I can cite museum pieces that are in Pompeii and in Rome. And the students will be able to see that evidence firsthand and know a little bit more about their faith. So uh, we're visiting Pompeii and then Patras, which is cool, Delphi with the Delphic Oracle, and then Athens, which is going to be one of the highlights of the trip. So we're going to be visiting some critical uh, places and critical, see critical artifacts that shaped West, the Western mind, you know, where Greek philosophy and Roman philosophy flourished, where the birthplace of democracy in Athens, and then the next democracy in Rome. So uh, this is an educational journey that's going to be extremely valuable to your kids, and I really hope that we get to talk about it. November 3rd, 8.30, in the sanctuary at Legacy Classical.